Let's draw a bear with a bow tie. For this draw along, I'm not going to be using any pencil. You could use pencil and always go over your pencil lines after with the marker colors. I'm going to jump right in to using the markers. Let's start by making some marks to help us guide our drawing. First I'm going to put my hand at the top of my paper and make a mark that is four fingers away from the top. So a little dot right under my four fingers. At the bottom, on one side, on the left side, I'm going to make a dot that goes above three fingers. And then on the right side, I'm going to do the same thing, make a dot right above three fingers. And this is my measurement to help me figure out how big my drawing is going to be. The head of the bear is almost like drawing a rainbow. I'm going to start at the dot on the bottom left corner and then go all the way up to the dot that I made in the middle of the top. Then I'm going to go to the bottom right corner dot and again go all the way up to the dot I made on the top so that it looks almost like a rainbow curve but done with brown marker. Now I want to add some ears to my bear. So my ears are going to look like some smaller rainbow curves. So a smaller rainbow curve for one ear and then another smaller rainbow curve for the other ear. Inside each ear I'm going to add a curved line just to make it a little bit more interesting. Now it's time to add the bear's muzzle. The bear's muzzle is in the middle of its face and it's a triangle shape that's kind of curved instead of pointy. So we're going to draw our curved triangle right in the middle to make that muzzle shape. And then we're going to switch to a different color marker. We're going to switch to a red marker or whatever color you want to use. And we're going to use that to draw a bow tie. The bow tie starts as a circle in the middle underneath the muzzle. And then on each side of the circle, we're going to make a triangle with the point going towards the circle. We can add a few lines inside of each triangle to make it look more like a bow. And then we want to wrap this bow around the bear's neck so that he is wearing it. So we're going to make some lines on either side to make the bow tie be wrapped around the bear's neck. You can keep using the same color or choose a new color. This is to make a hat on the bear. We're going to make two diagonal lines they're to heading towards the top of the paper and then connect those two lines with a curve to make the hat for our bear. After we finished making the hat, we're going to switch back to using the brown color to add the bear's shoulders. The shoulders are curved lines on either side of the bear's head. Now let's switch to a black marker and we're going to add the bear's nose. The bear's nose is inside the muzzle and it is a upside down triangle. Then the mouth is a straight line that comes down off of the nose and then a horizontal line that connects underneath that. Next, let's make some eyes for our bear. You can make your eyes any way that you want. This is the way that I make eyes. They are two circles that are over the muzzle. We're going to try our best to make them the same size and then put two more circles inside of them. And then we might add another little circle to show where the light is hitting the bear's eyes to make a reflection. Over the eyes, we're going to add some eyebrows. If you make your eyebrows curved up like this, your bear might look a little bit happy. If you curve your eyebrows down the other way, your bear might look angry or sad. Now we're going to switch back to our brown marker and add some fur texture to the bear. You can make the look of fur texture by using short lines all over the bear's head to show the direction that the bear's fur is growing in. If you make your bear's fur with straight lines like this, going in pretty much always the same direction, it's going to look like the fur is kind of smooth. You could even make your bear have curly hair if you made wiggly lines. Don't forget to add that texture of the fur to the bear's body too. 
Now that we're done drawing the bear, it's time to color the bear in. Since we drew the bear in marker, it can be very interesting to use crayons to color the bear. The crayon marks look different than the marker marks, and this is what makes it interesting. So I'm going to start by coloring in any of the areas that I want to be black, like the inside of the eyes and the inside of the nose. And then I'm going to move on to coloring all of the other areas of my bear. And then finally, I'm going to color in the whole entire background. Remember to take your time and do your best coloring. We don't want scribbly marks. We want to fill in all of the white of the paper by carefully coloring it in and taking our time to fill in all of the white spaces. The only white space we might have left is the white for the bear's eyes. Everything else will probably be colored in. You can even make new colors by layering one color on top of the other. When I color in the bear's muzzle, I might want that to be a little bit of a different color brown than the bear's fur. So I will layer some colors together like the brown and the white to make it a lighter color brown. And then I might decide to put a little bit of orange in there too so it looks like a little bit of a different color brown than the rest of the fur. You could color your bear with whatever colors you like. 